Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, yes, I'm nice and cozy and warm because I'm cooking a chicken meatloaf at the moment. Um, my dog's only allowed to eat chicken, rice, potato and pasta. So I get sick of cooking her something and then me something as well. So I decided I'd devise this chicken meatloaf recipe that we can both eat. So that's in the oven at the moment and it's keeping me nice and cozy. So now... Um, I've got a Happy Mail here which I'm really excited about and I also have a bit of a craft haul as well. So I thought I'd share all of this with you and I've been checking out this envelope and I tell you what the stamps these days keep getting better and better. I think it's an Eastern Spine Bill on there, the bird, it's absolutely beautiful and even that cake one so yeah they're awesome and some beautiful washi tape so um, in my craft room I've got a big envelope that is chock-a-block full of all the envelopes that people send stuff to me in I put them in there so that I can break them down one day and reuse the papers get the stamps off and any washi in that um, it's going to be a big job when I get around to it but this is from the beautiful Geo thank you so much Geo a lovely surprise to come home to today so I'll just take this out it now just check if this is oh there's some oh there's my note just give that a quick squeeze lovely I've been um, sending Gio a few playing cards and that and I think she's gone and sent me some back so and some other bits and pieces these are gorgeous they're just blank cards a nice cream color though might be able to use one of those in the project I'm working on at the moment so Oh, this is exciting this is looks like she's got a better collection than me at the moment oh they're interesting they're almost Japanese style and they're sort of textured on the back some sort of plastic or something they're pretty cool nice little ones a horsey one Make sure I'm in frame. Oh, it's blank. That's cool. I don't know if I'll be using these in journals. Um, I've started like collecting them now, which is terrible because I don't need to keep more stuff. But so I wish as well as everybody else to be perfectly happy. But like everybody else, it must be in my own way. Oh, Jane Austen. I thought it might be a Jane Austen. That's gorgeous, that is. It amazes me how many cards there are, um, what sort of themes and that. Dinosaur one, action card for Deal Breaker, oh, Monopoly. Cool. Regent Street. Thanks for the date. Little coffee card things. They're really cool too. Might be able to use one of those in a journal. Uno. Used to love playing that. And Skip Bow. Pokemon. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I had that many um, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards here um, that I collected for my son. And I think we like gave them away and I think he sold a few of them. But I wish I'd kept them because some of them are worth a bit now. Oh, these are cool. Spoons. Classic card game. In a hotel. The Builder. Boswell Banker. I like that. Old maid. <laughs> Brings back memories. Picked you flowers. Oh, that's... Isn't that cool? <laughs> Retro. Hippie card. That duck. They're awesome. Definitely different from the ones that I've got. The cicada. Yeah, that's nice too. It's like a dream time one. I managed to pick up another few packs, or well, one pack of um, two decks of playing cards today. So I'll have to start putting um, some aside for Geo now. Oh, that one's gorgeous. That 
lots of oriental styled ones. Look, that's beautiful too. Awesome kookaburra. Oh, it's a joker. Yes, Gio, you must have quite a collection there. It's a queen as well. Nice big one. Hotel ones. Oh, that's where you get that sort of one from. Beautiful. The Joker. Oh, look at the panda. What? Oh, it's a bit. It's a puffin. <laughs> I was looking at that thinking, is it a fish or what? Atlantic puffin. It took me a while. <laughs> Maybe I need glasses. They're lovely. Marvel ones. Oh, look at those. Spider Man. It's like Superman. Thor. It's got on top. They're really neat. Oh, look, it's one of those that changes. That's stunning, that is. New Yorker. <laughs> I like that. It says, they moved my bowl. Dog at the psychiatrist. <laughs> very different isn't it? Another joker. She must have been listening to me say on all my videos that I've been keeping the jokers out of all my packs. Alchemy. Oh they're really cool. Goth style aren't they? Look at that. The background on it's really cool. And some steampunky ones. And Stokes. Oh yeah. They're awesome. I'm glad I bought um, this um, big pack of um, the plastic sheets to hold them all in because I'm going to need them now the way I'm going. Oh, and a few little bits here. I see some Christmas goodies. Oh, Christmas bells. I'll try and get it closer. I don't know how good it is at focusing. That's not too bad. A little dragon which is really awesome because I love dragons and I was fortunate enough to get a beautiful package um, from Karen with some um, dragon goodies in it recently so that can go in with all my other dragon goodies this is a bit of napkin oh no it's a bit of material yep that's awesome material some entomology love bugs some stamped images Cool mushroom. Have fun colouring that one in, I reckon. Dandelion, dragonfly, some text, some keys. Love that stamp one. I have to get something like that. That's awesome. Another stamp one as well. Amazes me all the different stamps that everyone has. Oh, another charm. Oh, it's got a little bug in it. Can't see it very well. I do need glasses. Almost looks like a tick. I love the colour on that. That's awesome. I love insects and stuff. Not too much of a girly girl, so yeah, I get into all the insects and that sort of thing. Nice grungy card tag. Now, I think it's a sticker, that one. That's really cool. Oh, some stamps. Yep, they're definitely stickers. Look at those, they're really cool. Travel ones. A couple more little stickers. I love those. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. I was thinking, why is that dog so big? <laughs> That's really cool. I know what I'll be using that for. I reckon that must have come from Alice in Wonderland as well. Butterfly. 
get those on my cabbages all the time, those cabbage moss. Some more hatching. They're really cool. Some more Alice, that's awesome. That's really cool too. I love all the insects. And a beautiful Christmas napkin. That's cool, I don't think I've got that one. So, sort of vintage looking too. Oh, there's a couple. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Gia. Oh, I love all of that. Heaps of cool little bits and pieces. So, look forward to getting into those. All right, now, I managed to get up early and go to the shops and get there before my mate Rusty. And he mustn't have bought everything because I still managed to find a little bit of stuff. So firstly, I dashed into the, let me see, what have I got here? Okay, so we went to Salvage and Save. And I grabbed this little, I feel bad, it's a baby dress. But <laughs> it's just full of beautiful sort of lace. And it's a lovely sort of vintage peach colour. So I had to have that. <laughs> I've got a project in mind for it. So yeah, so I grabbed that and I got this. It's Famous Pirates. I haven't looked in there, but the pictures on the back looked all right. I'll see if I can get in there. I think I can open it from the bottom. Sounded interesting. Now just to get them out. Oh, they're quite nice. Look at those. I quite like those, so I have to put one of them aside for Geo. Or a couple. A bit different ones in there. So that'd be interesting to read what's written on those as well. And there were some loot bags. They're beautiful. They're a real sort of pale one, um, purple, with your spots. So I like those. And they had these Christmas tags. It's like a pack of 10 or something. Now this looked really nice. It's a letter set. Um, looks like vintage. So it's got the envelopes there. I might crack into that and have a closer look as well. Packaging's a bit dirty so I could do with going in the rubbish I reckon. Yeah, it does look quite old, but you could, I don't know if you can see the faint outline of the picture in the writing pad. And then these lovely, lovely envelopes. I reckon I can use one of them in the current project too. That was only 50 cents, so it was well worth it. And then some, oh, I can't remember what you call this stuff. It's not Ada cloth, I don't think, but yeah, cross stitch material. I'll just call it that. Someone started already. So could even use the, keep these for a journal of some sort and then use the rest. I like the texture of it and that, so I might try a few things with it. And then I did go to, oh, hang on, this came from there as well, didn't it? Um, you might have seen in a previous haul video that I bought an Animal Sanctuary game. Um, apparently in South Australia um, they were made locally and um, so many were made and not sold. So retail they were about $50 but they're clearing them out for like $5 for the box um, at some of the second hand places. So, and they have like hundreds. I won't open this one because I opened um, the other one on the last haul and showed everyone but they have... Um, heaps of Australian animal and bird um, cards which are illustrated um, so it's really really cool so I thought well, at five dollars I'll grab another one because you just get so much nearly wanted to buy them all actually but I'll never use them all so okay and then oh, I was having a giggle before because I was watching Susanna Ainsdale and she's just put a whole video up and she had been to the salvos as well because we get a discount on Thursday so we both uh, great minds think alike we both thought the same and went today to get our discount and she also picked up some a golden book and she got an Eloise Wilkin one um, and I had a look in my local store and I think almost all of these are Eloise Wilkin bar one or two so 
Amanda, you will be drooling. Um, yes, Amanda loves Eloise Wilkin illustrations. So I've got Peppa Plays Nurse, uh, which is... This is John Fernie, but I really like the pictures in that one. And the fact that it's about a nurse. I've never seen this one before, so something a bit different. Oh, Alice in Wonderland, of course, I had to get that. A lot of the modern Alice um, pictures I don't like at all, so if I can find older ones, I like them a lot better. This is, it says 1951. Hmm, I thought it would be newer than that, so it says 1951, this, so a bit of writing in there, which is a shame. But otherwise, great pictures. What was that pepper one? I like this this one too because of that. It's very different. I've never seen one with that. Whether that is the original. Looks like oh, someone's washed it, I was going to say. <laughs> Should have looked at that a bit closer. Still love it though. How old is that one? 72, that one. Animals Christmas Eve. I just got that one because I think I already have one of these and it'll be good to have another one for the um, ephemera. Especially because I want to get started on them soon, the Christmas ones. Baby Farm Animals, that's the same. I got that one um, because I have another one and I love the pictures in it. I said they're all, mostly all Eloise Wil Wilkins or whatever her name is and none of them have been so far. gorgeous pictures so that's another one for ephemera oh same with this one <laughs> this would have to be one of my favorites the golden egg book uh, 1962 by the looks but isn't it cute ducklings you love that one i reckon that's a great one for an easter journal Christmas story, same deal, really. Oh, that's an Eloise Wilkin. So another one for Christmas. But Amanda's right, she does do the best illustrations. Really cute kid faces. Prayers for children. Another Eloise Wilkin. This one is, don't know because it's Roman numerals, 40, oh no, hang on, 1980. Look how gorgeous that is. Return to Oz. Thought Wizard of Oz, why not? I've never seen one of those either in golden books. So, uh, 1985. Pretty cute pictures. And the tale of Peter Rabbit. Beatrix Potter, obviously, but I've never seen a um, Beatrix Potter golden book either, so I grabbed that. Might be able to use some of the um, illustrations I've got from some of my bigger Beatrix Potter books um, to add to this um, as a journal, make this into one. Just trying to remember they were from the salvos yeah that's right and i got this fantasia i had a quick squeeze at it it's a newer sort of book and it is glossy but it does have some really cool pictures there were some dragon ones somewhere too there's one be an interesting read so I won't be cutting this one up for a while because yeah have a good look at it first definitely got some interesting pictures then I've got another one of these photo albums that I am collecting and uh, a bouquet of flowers lovely lovely frames they're quite big but you can cut them down a bit and 
then I found a Kate Greenaway, which I love her illustrations. I already have this, but I have a much older version. And the old one's better because it's matte, whereas this is slightly glossy. But it still has the great illustrations. I use these little people a lot for um, ATCs, for the coins and the cards. And then the bigger ones make really good journaling cards or pockets. And there's a lot in here. And then further on it has all these pages with this border. And I use that border on things as well. But gorgeous pictures. So whenever I find her books I always grab them. And there were these two packs of these French mini stickers. I thought they were a really cool size for your um, cards and coins and that as well. Something a bit different. It's not, not my style, but I do like trying out different things. So, and sometimes, you know, we get given different themes and that in some of the groups. So, it's good to be prepared. Uh, grab this. Just a storage container. Be really good for die cuts or fussy cut bits. A um, bit of ribbon. Green stuff. And then these plan cards. Which come in a pack and there's two lots of them the red and the green tartan ones so if anyone's ever making a scottish journal i have cards another few that i'll put aside for geo as well now and then oh goodness man i've got to lift the thing again this i showed one of these in my last book haul that's the cover of it it's I'm not sure. Maybe they're just were made in a different year. I'm sure they probably have the same pictures. But oh, they are a treasure trove of goodness. Like you get so many cool. Like you get a lot of black and white, but you get a lot like this as well. And I've actually started cutting up the other one. And I hadn't looked at it very closely. And when I had a bit of a closer look, there's just so much goodness in here. I mean, look at that for a sewing journal. Just awesome bits and pieces. There's like ballet and all sorts of stuff. So there's um, a fair few good ones for a boho journal. So yes, I said to myself when I started cutting the other one, if I ever see another one, I have to grab it. And then of course I go into the shop and there's another one. I was like, no, I have to grab it. <laughs> but it's like work lifting the thing, that's for sure. It's huge. So that's that. And then I went to browse in and save because I needed glue and I get a bit, you know, if the glue starts getting down, I start getting a bit nervous. So I grabbed some more of my fabric glue. I think I get it for like $6 there, which is the cheapest I've found it around here. It lasts me a fair while too and it even works in my little fine tipped bottle. So, and I got a pack of your yeah, little, you, you run out of these really quick. So. Yeah, thought I'd better stock up, so I did. Um, I bought some of this, I'll see what it's like. Um, I know you can use like hairspray on some of your um, like paintings and stuff, but I thought I'd give this a go for my covers, uh, journal covers. Um, it says it protects from dirt, dust, fading moisture, discoloration and abrasion, so we'll see. Uh, bought a whole lot of bags for storage. They're really handy for little bits and pieces. And then oh, I stocked up on napkins. I always, whenever I go in there, I have a look if they've got some different ones that I don't already have. So there was this one, which is quite nice. I won't take it out because I'll end up with napkins everywhere. Uh, this one, coffee theme. I had three different colours of these embossed napkins. I might try inking them up and see how they come up. Maybe use them on the base of tags and that. I'll see what I can do with them. Something a bit different. Flamingos. These ones, beautiful blue flowers. And ones with some succulents. Which is something different. So yes, it was good because I actually haven't been um, craft shopping or up shop shopping for a fortnight now and I was starting to get a bit like withdrawals and stuff. So I thought I'd better go and deal with that. And yeah, it was good fun. So 
I uh, hope everyone's having a really good day and I shall be back on sometime very soon um, I've got a few bits and pieces that I've been making for my design team project that I would like to share with everyone I'll give everyone an update so have a good one and I'll see you soon bye